today's Taiwan Explained, I'm going to tell you about the role transit stops have played in U.S.-Taiwan diplomatic history. All righty, Nelly, are you ready? All right, I'm ready. Deep breath, 60 seconds on the clock, go. Taiwan-U.S. presidential stopovers are symbolic of U.S.-Taiwan ties. Now, Li Denhui was the first to ask for one. The U.S. let him refuel in Honolulu, but did not let him leave the military airport. Li, in protest, did not leave his airplane and wore pajamas when a U.S. official met him. The next year, the U.S. let him attend his Cornell University reunion, where he spoke about Taiwan democracy. But China was furious and shot missiles near Taiwan, leading up to the first Democratic presidential elections. And the U.S. also sent aircraft carriers to the region. Li Denhui won the election. Now, Tsun Sui-bian was the first Taiwan president to visit New York City. But near the end of his term, when he was not on good terms with the U.S., they made him transfer in Alaska, which he said was inconvenient, uncomfortable, and indecent. Now, Ma ying enjoyed many U.S. stopovers with little fuss from Beijing. And the highlight of Tsai Ing-wen's recent trip was that she got to meet U.N. envoys at Taiwan's representative office. Can I add a line? Yes, of course. And speak at Columbia University. Excellent job, Natalie. And that is this week's Taiwan Explained.